Okay, we are back, and we just finished our campaign in Gaul. Now we are on the Rubicon River, beautiful river. So we're going back home. Now let's talk to these guys. Tell me, why do we not just march whole legion into Rome and push Lurko off throne? You know what? That's a good idea. Julius Caesar did that, historically, so, why don't we do that? The Senate of Rome has no throne. It has special chair for man in charge, does it not? Call it what you will. Sending my legion into Rome will start a civil war. I am not bloodthirsty. I hope you know this by now. But when it is necessary to fight, you must fight. Rome is not as I had hoped, before I saw it with my own eyes. There is so much squalor and suffering. In Wild, it is possible for man to have dignity, even in poverty. In City, this is not so. The scent has weakened Rome for too long. Using our legion to see control might bring order again. I think so too. People in charge now. They benefit from uncertainty and fear. You could bring stability and peace. Anyway, I don't think I will stay here after we are done. It's time for me to face my past and move on. This is a bad idea. We do possess the evidence necessary to condemn Lurko and his family forever. Last time I saw Lurko, he was angry, but he was not in a panic. There's another trick up his sleeve. I'm certain of it. Maybe. But we're out of options. There is always a way. The years I've spent with you taught me that over and over again. You think they will accuse us of, of, of murder? It's what I would do. Lorco is a dangerous foe because he knows exactly when to lie and when to tell the truth. He will tell the Senate that we have murdered his entire Praetorian Guard. You know that's not a lie. They were falling orders. Their deaths. Well, actually, they actually seem like they, they wanted to kill me really badly. Death is the punishment for treason. I am no politician, but as far as I can tell, the difference between a patriot and a traitor is rather blurry in the Senate. You know, no one would be able to stop us if we just took over the Senate itself. People will still be able to oppose you. And this time, you'll have to kill a lot of people, not just those who deserve it. Maybe not. If we march in with overwhelming force, no one will be stupid enough to stop us. I wouldn't count on that. The world is full of foolish people. Thank you for always being by my side. I'm good at killing people. And you somehow keep attracting people in need of killing. What I've done for you still seems less than what you've done for me. All right. We are at the end now. That's what scares me. What do you think will happen? Um. Let's see. Maybe we should just march into the, the Senate and make them listen to us. What do you mean? Walk into Rome with swords in our hands? That would make us look like villains.
If there's one thing I've learned over the years, a conflict is remembered by the word of the victor. Um... Indeed. That whole mess with Lucia taught me that. So then the question is what you prefer? The truth or what's written? That's what scares me. What do you think will happen? I think we have enough evidence to get that bastard exiled forever. We will stride into the Pomerium as civilians once more, with pride in our eyes. What if the Senate doesn't find the evidence compelling? That is not an option. We'll need to make sure everyone understands what happened. We cannot count on the facts to speak for themselves. We have killed Roman Praetorians. Do you really think the Senate will forgive us? They will certainly take some convincing. It is unfortunate that we had to kill a few Praetorians. But let us not forget the fact that they were criminals. This has been interesting. It's been a pleasure, genuinely. You always stood by my side, even if it was against your own interests. I will never forget that. We should move. I think we should sit down and plan. The next few days may very well determine our fakes. Ask yourself, what is my enemy doing right now? He who is on the offensive always has the advantage. Perhaps you are right. Do you think we should simply row into Rome with our legion and take over the Senate? I'm a warrior, not a strategist. I simply think we should act now while we have the initiative. He who strikes first usually wins. If they find us guilty of murdering Roman officials, all of you will suffer because of me. Then we shall suffer, but it will not be due to your actions. I am no simple Sowas. We chose to follow you, whether we like it or not. A man carves his own destiny. If I shall suffer as a result, so be it. What would you do in my place? I am not in your place, and for that I am happy. Humor me. This is no different than imagining yourself in your enemy's place. You are not my enemy. Lurko is. If I was Lurko, I would try to kill you now. He has everything to lose if he does not. You always were a dependable companion. Old Sinaros says being free is not a legal status, but a state of mind. I earned my freedom before we met. But it was you who taught me to be truly free. For that, I'm thankful. Okay. Domine. Let me your wisdom one last time, old friend. I'm about to make a really important decision. Your frustration is natural, but I think the personal stakes involved cloud your mind. Surely you have solved more difficult riddles in your life. Know that we have done all we can. It is time to cast the die and see how it lands. Maybe I should just ignore all procedure and simply take control of Rome. It would be the surest way to punish Lurko for his crimes. That's a valid plan. Lurko will surely not expect it, and I believe therefore he will be ill-prepared to counter such actions. However, it would also imply a lack of trust in the very institutions we are trying to protect. Furthermore, it will involve a great deal of combat and quite likely our death. Perhaps that is what Rome needs, a change of institutions and government. I believe this is exactly what Vitellius Lurko would say. What if they find you guilty of murdering Roman men officials as well? They might execute you. I have lived a full and bountiful life. This old man has witnessed so many things. Certainly, there are some unresolved questions in my mind, but isn't life a series of unresolved questions anyway? There is a chance I might perish. I want you to take care of my family. Young man, I've been taking care of your family since long before you were born. 
Now focus on the task ahead and make sure they never need me again. You have served me well, Cinerals, but I can't order you to certain death. You are a service no longer. I release you. If you think I've been following you because I'm your service, you're still a child in mind. I've been free for a long time now. Okay. Now we're going to cross the Rubicon with our armies. But before that, let's see. Anything we can do with our inventory? Looks like we're pretty well charged. Okay, so... Alright, time to do this. Is there anything else? The moment of truth. Yep, we are definitely going to cross the Rubicon with our entire army. Shall we store your weapons at the villa, as usual? What if I refrain from doing that, Vitus? What do you mean? You can't enter Rome with your legion? Yet, if I decide to do so, who's to stop me? It's simply not done. If you decide to do this, you'll be a villain. No one will be able to stop you. I will. I followed you everywhere, done everything you asked of me. And by Jupiter, everyone in this legion knows I will follow you to the darkest depths of Tartarus if needs be. But this, this is where I draw the line. I shall not be your partner in crime if you intend to attack the very fabric of our society. Rome is a republic of its people. The consequences of your actions will revert centuries of progress. I refuse to be a part of that. The fabric of our society is own. What if I change things for the better? You'd be setting a dangerous precedent for all aspiring tyrants in the future. Being virtuous is easy when moral actions benefit you. Everyone's good and kind when it's convenient. What reveals one's character is what you do when it's not convenient. Cross the Rubicon this way, and I can no longer stand by your side. Then that is your choice, Kaisel. I can't relinquish the control of people's destiny to a bunch of crooked senators. That is unfortunate. It seems you have reached a decision. I need you to step aside, Vitus, unless you want to be part of your life. From this point on, Rome is mine. I was worried you might say that. A pity I placed my trust in you. What a disappointment you turned out to be.
Oh, Act Four. Wow. Silence. You are behaving like chickens in a basket. Remember who you are. You are weak tricks, undefeated. We will win. The men are on shore, Legate. Especially now that Aquilinus left us. Many are having second thoughts. Kaisel made his own choice. I'm doing what's necessary. If any of you disagree with me, you are free to leave. No one will come after you. But no, you will die as cowards. We must be quick and deadly. The Legion must move in and take control of the city. Is there any way to avoid civilian casualties? Don't be naive. We have broken one of the oldest and most important taboos of the Republic. We are invaders of our own city now. Where is Vitalia Circle's Legion? Disbanded, as Wictrix was meant to be. What we've done breaks with old tradition. I wish Kaisel hadn't left like that. I think he made his reasons abundantly clear. Maybe I can change his mind when we meet again. Maybe. But what if you can't? It may come to an unfortunate confrontation. I understand the choice you have made. I get the idea of temporarily sowing chaos to instill order in the long term. It's a price we have to pay. But don't let Kaizo's life be a part of that payment. We've all been through too much together. We must take the Senate and kill Vitalio's circle. He's not the only problem. We'll need to control public opinion. Eliminating the dictator will not be enough. We must take care of the Pontifex Maximus as well. As the religious leader of Rome, he has the power to mobilize people against us. Carter? Why would he be against me? I think he's not your biggest fan. You know he's held a grudge since the Asia campaign. Keep in mind Kota is an Optimus. What we've done goes against everything he believes in. Is religious power really that important right now? Everyone believes in one god or another. Point is, people listen to him. He'll be holed up in the Regia. Only him and the Vestal Virgins are allowed to enter the Inner Sanctum. But old traditions didn't stop us from bringing Wheatrix across the Rubicon, so... I'll talk to him. Kota may be a bitter old man, but he's not stupid. He'll listen to reason. We can be very convincing. It's a good plan. Once Kota is out of the way, there is no need to worry about the opposition he might drum up against us. Once we're ready, we'll need to secure the Senate with overwhelming force and neutralize Witellius Lurko. We have to make sure he doesn't escape. Agreed. This will never be over as long as he is at large. It is very likely that the Senate will be full of Senators. We tell you Sluoko might use them to shield himself. Keep in mind we may also encounter ordinary citizens trying to protect the Senate against our assault. Then we'll need to be careful. I think we're way past careful. At this point, it's us or them. I believe there's not much else to discuss. The longer we wait, the more we risk failure. Do you expect any surprises, Kalida? I expect nothing but surprises. Bestia, you think we'll win? You don't enter the arena expecting to lose. We will win, as always. Do you have another one in you, old man? I believe there's only one way to find out. How do you feel about all this, Denaria? The risk is great. But if we win, to rule all of Rome, that would make it all worthwhile. Alright everyone, this is the moment of truth. Let us roll the dice. As you command. Okay, let's do this. I'm about to enter the Regia. Okay, so it looks like he left us. Did he, like, take... Oh, 
Okay, so I think he took all of the equipment too. That's not good. Alright, let's see. Is there anything else? And what I can talk to. Okay, so this is my villa. I don't think there's anything I can talk to here. Where is the mother? I'm not sure. Okay. Let's begin our attack on the Regia. Alright, what a shame. I can only bring four people here. Actually, I'm gonna bring this guy, this guy, and yeah, I definitely need to bring her for sure. What is in here? Nothing? Actually, before I talk to my one, I'll actually see what's in here. Very nice. I should have expected this, you arrogant bastard of a fallen family. This has nothing to do with arrogance. I can't allow Vitellius Circle to get away with it one more time. What about all the things you have done? Are you willing to burn down the Republic? Wake up. You're defending a man who started a war just to prove his point. I am trying to save Rome. The only threat Rome needs saving from at present is yourself. All this bloodshed. And for what? If you do not join me, more blood will be shed. That's what I'm trying to pre prevent. The lesser of two evils. Is that you? Not the best way to stir a man's heart, but I can be pragmatic when necessary. I shall yield. Okay, looks like we convinced them. I'm still a little bummed. That guy basically took all my equipment. With the Pontifex Maximus out of the picture, our Legion has been able to enter the Pomerium. Weak Tricks now controls all roads leading into and out of Rome. 
the people who had come for my sister were wearing Barata's colors. That's troubling news. I'll put the word out among our Kenturi owners and gather more information about this. If Ferrata is mustering, we'll have a big problem on our hands. Excellent work, but let's not get careless now. Wise words, Domini. The city is still not under our complete control, as the current consul Lurko remains a formidable threat. He probably still has allies. Our actions have forced even those who hated him before to take his side. There are many important men now trapped in this city, with good reason to move against us. Politically, or even militarily. Let's hear some names. Pompeius is formidable, even cut off from his legions. He commands no less than four legions in Hispania. If he somehow finds a way to bring word to them, we need to take him out. Or win him over. If possible. Of Lurkel's personal guard, only Corvinus remains. He's a shifty one. There's no knowing where he might be. I'm told he hides in the Campus Martius. Perhaps we can pay a visit and rid ourselves of him for good. It seems like Corvinus would prefer to be on the winning side. That we can use to our advantage. Cato and Cicero control the optimists faction the Senate, but they're on our side. Are you kidding? There's no way Cato will support you after what we've done. Then we must take them out as well. Let us not rule out any alternatives to violence just yet. Given a compelling argument, we may sway the senators to join our side. It seems like we should pay a visit to Pompeius, Cato, and Corvinus. We don't have much time. We'll have to split up. You are needed here, Legate. Our true quarry awaits us at the Senate. We have preparations to make. We should think carefully about who we send where. We may yet be able to solve this situation without bloodshed. You know how to explain things in a way an imperator understands. I like Pompeius on my side, if possible. If that is what you wish, I will do my utmost. Let's see. Now for Corvinus, perhaps it's time for Corvinus to meet this match. Kalita. Now if you said Bessie actually. Estia knows the campus marchy as well, and the gladiators who live there. It will be just like old times. Now for Cato. Minerals would probably be most likely to gain Cato's trust. I would gladly talk to them if there were time, but we have no time to spare. Be careful. I'll need you by my side in the end. I have a feeling the end will be messy. We will need all the help we can get. We control the peripheries of the city. But the inner districts are still putting up stiff resistance. Clearing a path to the Senate may prove very difficult. Walete, may Fortuna be on your side. Okay.
Let's do this. Alright, so we're gonna start with... Campus Marcius. Let's see, what Praetorians do you want to bring into this area? The slot must not be filled by a companion. Okay. This guy is just dis disgruntled. Not good. And then Bleeder. Hunter and... Sniperius. We have two archers. Maybe we'll also have a Triarii. Let's go with Fabius. Stay back, Bestia Tabat. You are surrounded by my best gladiator archers. May have paid them denarii, but if I fought side by side with every single gladiator here. How does it feel walking into your own trap? I remember you, Tabat. We fought lions together in the arena. Bestia Tabat? No amount of denarii will make me fight you. You're on your own, Coenus. Oh, perfect. Yeah, just flee. Okay, now. These archers over here. And these guys up here. Should be fine. So I think first things first. We'll go up here. What's this? Oil barrel? Crap, are you kidding me? Wow, now now I can't do it. Are you freaking kidding me? Is actually so shitty. Can't even get any, any of these guys. Okay, we're gonna take down this guy. Okay, I'm gonna actually go over here if I try to pick off some of these guys. That's what I'll do. Did you just appear there? Oh. 
Wow, Wiley hits so hard. Are you serious? Like, I actually cannot go there. Fuck. This guy is burned. That's an oil barrel. Why can this guy not shoot? Okay, maybe I'll actually go around. There we go. Okay, let's see if I can take down any of these guys. That guy. I think that should be it. Wow, it's like it's just pierced out of nowhere. Holy crap. Freaking burned. Let's see, stab him. Okay, we'll take him down. I think we're gonna take him down. Uh, where, where is he? I don't see him. This guy is so freaking annoying.
right to where is this guy? This guy is actually so freaking annoying. Like, why won't you just die? Triumphant. Come on, admit you needed that. Like, where the? Oh, he's all the way back there. Are you serious? Now where's he? Okay, he's over there. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? I suffer a freaking wound. That's too much blood. Seriously, where the hell is he? There you are, you motherfucker. Are you kidding me? I did no damage to him. Fuck. That's like fucking magic or something. It's actually fucking bullshit. Oh my god, there's a freaking oil thing over there. Death is catching up with me at last. Fucking kidding me. Fuck off. Like, where could he be? Fuck. Aid me, and let us shed blood together. Join the fight, you're missing out. Arthur, right, so where the hell is he? This guy is so freaking annoying. Oh 
it's over there. Fuck. This guy is the most annoying enemy ever. There you are, you motherfucker. Now let's see, can we knock him down? Okay, we have to go all in. Um... Alright, now we're the... Not there. Oh my god, there you are, you fucking cunt. Alright, let's see. Fly burning for sure. What's he do? He freaking dodged this? Fuck off, seriously. It's the most annoying enemy to fight. Like, this is actually like the most annoying freaking enemy to fight. Okay, there you are. Like, there's freaking no way. There's like no way I out. Perhaps I need someone to help me here. Feeling better? Alright, he's over there. This guy's the most annoying freaking enemy. Alright, now where is he?
coward. How did he get there? Like, how is that possible? Okay, there you are. Fuck. Aid me. There is strength in unity. Let us crush them together! Like, it's impossible to, to freaking beat them. God, this is fucking everywhere. Wow, he's over here. Fuck off. Oh my god. Fuck. Alright, now we're... This guy's gonna die in like a... Poison. Alright, let's get up here. Oh, there he is. Four health left. Finally, holy crap, this is the most annoying battle ever. Alright, so now that we killed them, um, we're gonna go to Kato's Villa. Let's she save the game first, because seriously. Alright, 
Um, I'll send her. Send her. Send him, him. And I'll send this guy over. So I have three archers and one Shariai. To heal them. Okay. Yulia Kalida, I should have known. Prepare yourself, Kikoro. Our death has arrived. Do you survive an encounter with this woman? Um, death is what I usually deliver, but not today, unless you desire it. Let me guess. You want us as sponsors, defending your cause in front of the Senate. You want the Optimates to support the new king. Never. Whether he becomes our king or not is none of your concern. I need your cooperation. You won't be able to force me. I'm hardly defenseless. Let us get this over with. Alright, let's see. Venomous. Attack, supply the poison, stats effect. Okay. That's interesting. Wait, is it this guy that has it? Alright, so we're gonna hold here. Is this guy bait? Oh, I, guess, I guess he's bait. Alright, let's see. I think we'll do that. I think I'm gonna actually send this guy back here, actually. Maybe I can actually go around. Or maybe I could go around. Okay, so I have three archers to interrupt here. I think they should take out everyone here. Should be okay. Um, shoot him, dude. Come on, why? No one is shooting him. That really hurt. Let's see. Can I heal this guy? Actually, I could. Right. You can help me if you want. So, you need my help after all. Oh, it's going to trigger an attack. Yeah, 
that could go in here. And apply interrupt. Let's see. Alright, let's actually come back here. We're gonna apply interrupt again. Yep, I'm gonna come here. This guy's a little injured. Let's bandish him up. Are you alright? Alright. Are you kidding me? Didn't see that coming, huh? There we go. Done. Three of that once. Archers are over there. Let's see. Yep, I'll just do that. They're both been covered, okay. like we could not convince them. Let's see. Um, we do want to maybe replenish some of our guys. Alright, so this is Villa. Um, so I'm going alone. Alright. I think this guy should be able to convince him. Personal accountant, physician, and administrator of Legatus. I know, Cineros. There are times one's reputation precedes oneself. Ave von Pompeius, I'm honored by your recognition. Would it be correct to assume you know why I'm here then? Judging by what's happening to the city as of this moment, I guess it's either to kill me or to enlist my aid. The latter, of course. My Dominus would not have sent me if he had a violent intent. Let us listen to your words then, hoping they won't fail you. May I inquire as to your stance regarding the current conflict we find ourselves in? Let us make one thing clear. You have created this conflict. I am merely watching things unfold as of now. My mind is not made up yet. Surely you can't consider supporting Vitellius Lurko. I consider many things, Sowe. Supporting the rightful consul of Rome is something I will probably not refuse if he seeks my help. Lurko is a diplomat who seeks war at the expense of the people. He does not actually understand war or its consequences. In politics, everyone thinks of their own profits first. Why should I join you instead of him? 
Lurkle didn't ask you first. Very well. Tell your Dominus I will remain on the sidelines. You have my word. Okay, phew. Made it out of our life. Alright, let's go back. Is there a way to, like, treat our injuries and, I guess, replenish our items? The hour of reckoning is at hand. A grim task awaits us. It's time to formally declare martial law. Not every citizen will take kindly to that, I know I wouldn't. So let's make sure we control the market when the news is read. Our enemies will exploit the uproar to move against us. Unlikely. Formulating a plan takes time, a resource we have so far denied them. Many of the senators who still oppose us employ gladiators for their own protection, and other less moral purposes. Of course, they all have their own lictors as well. How many lictors and gladiators do we expect? It depends on how fearful they are. The more cautious among them will hold their people back, to defend their own villas or to fortify the Senate. There's more. We've received reports that individual men from Legio Ferrata have taken up arms against us. Where did they get their weapons? We believe they have retrieved their equipment from the Gallic War. Fighting trained legionary in the streets of Rome is the last thing we want. All of Ferrata would be no match for a single cohort of weak tricks. A few scattered legionari will pose no threat. It's not just about the legionari themselves, bestia. They might rally the citizens against us. Our legion and theirs did not exactly get along. But still, our people will not be happy to fight Roman legionari. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Give me your report. How do your missions go? Let's just say there were some dissenting voices. No one will hear those voices again. It's a revolution. As I understand, these things rarely happen without some bloodshed. We will need the news readers to announce that we are instituting martial law. A declaration of martial law is just so many words. It means nothing unless we speak from the very heart of Rome. We need to be at the Senate. The Consul is holed up at the Senate with his remaining supporters. It may be the most heavily defended building in the world at this point. But you're right, Sir Wei. That's where we must go. Do we control the streaks? To the best of our ability. What does that mean? There are just too many streets to control. Rome is a huge city. The Forum Romanum and the rest of the Capitolium is still contested. Any word from the rest of Flagio Ferrata? Only those few who have taken up arms for Lurko of their own initiative. Unlike Legio Weetrix, they were disbanded as per tradition. It would be very difficult for Lurko to quickly muster his forces. I would really think thrice before underestimating that man, Prima. We must remove Lurko from office. Easier said than done. Indeed, if only conquering Rome were easy. Then she would have fallen long ago. I see your point. The Forum is heavily fortified indeed. Our Legi and Ari are trying to keep the Capitolium secure, but the Consul called upon the citizens of Rome. They are eager to defend their Republic, with their lives, if necessary. In its current form, um, they may be misguided, but we are not. Our duty is to protect them. Best of luck to us all. In their eyes, we're nothing but bandits now. We must make our declaration of martial law near the Senate. If Lurko somehow manages to muster the rest of Legio Ferrata, the announcement will be useless. Even the few stragglers who took up arms again on their own initiative could scuttle our plans. But since we control the access routes, we can funnel them to a specific position. Where a dedicated group of defenders can shut the trap and kill them all. A sound plan. 
If we can spare another group for the protection of the newsreader. The most difficult task will be the main assault. You must fight your way through all their defenses to reach the Senate. Much blood has been sp spilled, and still more will be. Let us make sure it wasn't for nothing. At least this blood has been spilled for a good cause. All right. Time is of the essence. No more talk. You have all heard the Legatus. Prepare for the final push. Okay, now I wonder... Can I, like, repair my stuff? Okay, we're gonna start some triage on this guy. Yeah, this guy leveled up. Now, is there a way for us to repair our items? I mean, they should have told us that we couldn't. What the hell? Now we're kind of stuck. Okay, so I'm actually going to end this for now, and then we're going to come back next time.